Hey guys, Dr. Dave here with another Hacked Existence video. Today we're going to be building an open source enterprise grade router running PFSense. We've chosen this motherboard because it has an AMD quad core APU with the AES NI instruction set. When PFSense 2.5 comes out, that's going to allow us to run hardware accelerated encrypted VPN tunnels. It also has a 4x PCI Express slot for our Intel server NIC. We've chosen 8GB of memory to support the operating system as well as additional applications such as Suricata and Snort. The Intel SSD holds the operating system, log files, and any additional applications we've chosen to run. In addition, it also has no moving parts and provides low heat generation within the case. Now let's get to our network interfaces. Here we have a Ubiquiti AC Pro dual band access point with a power over ethernet adapter and the Intel i350 T4 wired NIC. Both of these are 100% compatible with PFSense. Finally, we have the Seasonic 400 watt platinum power supply fanless to complete our no moving parts build. Now let's take a look at the case. So here we have the completed build. We've decided to put it in a Silverstone ML04 home theater PC case to keep it a clean, unified build that will look nice on either your desktop or your home entertainment center. We've decided to mount the wireless access point to the top of the case for ease of access and cleanliness. Now let's look inside of the case. So here you can see we have all the parts installed in the case. We've put the power over ethernet adapter inside to drive the wireless access point. So now that we have all the hardware in place, we're ready to install PFSense which is an open source router software that will give us access to enterprise grade features such as firewalls, IDS, IPS, VPNs, and VLANs in a portable silent package that can drive your entire home lab. In our next video, we will do a basic install of PFSense and set up a network for our home lab.